Hello everyone, welcome back. We're going to pick up where we just left off from. And if we scroll down to the text section, I'm just going to show you a quick way that you can edit your photo a little bit so it may fit better. Now, when you go to this page, by default, it is ends around here. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky part, but what you do is you just make sure in visual below where it says learn more for that link, and you just click the mouse three or four times click save and then when you go to update your image will be larger I've already done it so you can see the full image now but before you only could see do you couldn't even see the edge of the computer at the bottom I'll put it that way and now you can see a larger part of the image so if you're having trouble fitting your image like that it could be something with this free theme that we can adjust just by making those few little return keys down. Now to continue adding to this page we're going to add on two different sections. We're going to add on a our services section and an our team section. So what we're going to need to do is go back to this page, the home page again, and the first thing that we're going to need to do is add a module and after we get to this add module section we're going to hit text and here we haven't really done much in here yet but I'm going to click on this toggle toolbar that brings up more options within this area now what I want to do is click this text right here it says align center so now my text is centered it's just like if you're using Microsoft Word or anything like that where it centers your text now in this case heading one as I mentioned in that previous text above with the HTML code heading one is h1 and h1 is larger than h2 h3 h4 and this gives you an idea of what it will look like when you do implement this heading I'm going to use a heading two in this case and have it be centered and I'm going to name this section our services and click save Next, within the Our Services area here, I'm going to click Columns, and I'm actually going to pick a three column wide one. So I'm going to add in three services in this section. Now if I click Add Module, and then I want to add a featured box. It carries a little bit more weight than the um, text box does because you can add an icon and you can change the icon size and color and give at least an image to go with the text. There's many images that we can choose from here. And the first service that I'm going to be adding it for is WordPress development. So I'm going to look for an icon that's at least somewhat related to WordPress development. And the best icon I think that there is on here for WordPress development is probably this computer monitor one. For the size, I'm going to make the size and for the icon color I want to make it maybe a bluish color since there's some other blue on the site already so I'm just going to make it this color and I'm actually going to copy this because each of the icons we make I'm going to make that color as well now I'll copy this in here temporarily this is because I'm going to have to add the code the uh, text that I've already pre-written and copy that in. So the first section is called WordPress development and I'll put this in the title area and now I'll copy in I guess it wasn't showing up in the visual aspect but when I go to text it does show up so that's something to note uh, after that I'm just going to go down and I'm not going to change any of those boxes here so that's what it's going to be looking like we'll click save and now we'll add the next module and we'll do the same thing feature box again for this text this one's called responsive design so if I can find something that looks like a cell phone or an iPad or something like that I will use that one I'm going to make it five and I'm going to look for a cell phone. So I guess the closest 
to something like that is this icon on the left here that was just below where our previous icon was that we got, the computer icon. Now I'm going to go back and copy in this code for the color. And when I enter that, it will change the color to be the same. Now our title is Responsive Design, as we said. And now I'm going to go to the text side to make sure it shows up like the issue I had on the last one. And I'll copy this code in. Notice how my code is all relatively the same length and I did this to try to make it fit. And there it is. I guess this is a little bit of a glitch with the free theme, but that's why it's free. And next we're going to add the third module and we're also going to go to feature box again we'll make it five and in this section we are talking about custom logo design we're going to look for something related to that with the options we have here I'm just going to choose this one real quick to speed up the process a little bit for you guys I will add in the text down here. And I think it's a good idea to click back and forth to make sure the text goes in. And I see that it has the color code is right here. And that's going to be the same as we used in the previous ones. And the section title is called custom logo design and we'll save this one as well now I'm just going to go up and update it in the upper right corner of the this page and now we'll refresh to see what it looks like after it's done loading now when we refresh we'll go down and we'll see that we're having some kind of error in this situation so what we're going to have to do is edit it a little bit and try to fix it up. This is something that happens quite often in free theme, so it's good practice, I guess, for all of us to go through this and edit it, including myself. So next we're going to take a look at what we did here, and I think this is actually a simple solution, and this is the first time we're actually going to get to drag and drop. What we want to do is click this Add New Section button here, and what I forgot to do is add it into that section so I'm going to grab this area right here where it says rows columns and drag it down and see how it opens up right there I'm going to drop it into that section it's below the learn more and our services I guess we're just going to keep it below the our services and update it and see how it looks for now Next, after it's done loading, we're going to refresh the page. Okay, there it is. And the Our Services section is still up here. Now, we can do a couple things with the Our Services section. We can try to drag it down, and I think what we'll have to do if we do that is we can add a new column to this and then put it above. And I think that's probably the easiest way to do that and just drop it in this one by one column here or you can change the text color and keep it where it's at and make it white but I think this is easier because we don't even have to code anything and just drag it in here and click the update button at the top left top right excuse me and now we'll go we're going to refresh the page and now we can see our services is right there above it. I would like to resize the our services text size because I think it's pretty small, even though I did do an H2, I believe. Yes, I did. And if you look at it on here, it looks a little bit bigger, I think. However, I guess we'll just go to H1, and that's as big as we can go in this section, and click Save. Now when we go back up and click Update, and refresh this page we'll see that the our services section is a little bit bigger 
And I guess that's big enough because we really can't do a whole lot about it without getting into code. Next, after this, we're going to add the Our Team section. And this is very similar to what we just did, but hopefully a little quicker. Now we'll go to Add New Section, the step that I initially forgot last time. And then we'll go to Columns. We'll go one by one. And then we'll go to Add Module on it. And then we'll click Text. And this is where we're going to put the Our Team text. Again, we're going to use H1 Heading 1 since that's what worked for us in the Our Services section. And here we're going to add Our Team and then we'll save this. Next, we're actually going to go to Gallery and we're going to click New Image. And in this section, we can add new images one at a time. And here we're just going to simply click on the image and then we'll click Upload. And I have just uploaded four images off Pixabay that I got. And I'll just upload this one as the first one. And click Save. I'm going to end up adding four total, so I'll just make four right now. Next, I'll go up, add the second image of this man, click Save. All these images I got were the smallest sized ones, so we'll see how that works. Select image and save again. And last but not least, we'll click this one and save it again. And now we're going to just go up and just click update to see how these look. So once we refresh the page, we see that the images fit pretty well. The Our Team section is not showing up there, so we're going to have to add that again. Maybe something happened. And I believe something did. So what we're going to have to do is click Columns, Single Column. Now we're going to go to Add Module on it, click Text. And then we'll go to H1 again, Heading 1. And now we'll go to our team again and click save now now this our team section we're going to drag to be above the images of the team members so something we can also do here is we can click on this little pencil and says edit edit module and what we'll do is go down below the image and it will say image title and we can just give the person a name shannon smith and it will say logo creator. Now the next one will do the same type of thing. James Ross marketing. And the next will do Ken Davis. WordPress development and the last one we'll name this one Sally Lou social media specialist and we'll save this as well now if we go up and we update this page and we refresh it here it's not going to look like much changed but if you highlight over the person it says the name and their title so this is something that we can maybe change or work on but for now I think it's pretty good and we understand how to get to this point one last thing that I want to add into this section is that we can put a break between the two sections just like this and it's not there right now how to do that we will go to columns and we'll click 1-1 one, one again, and then we'll go to Add Module, Text, and then we'll be on the text side, not the visual, the text side. And what we do is just write some very simple HTML, just like that. Within the brackets, we write HR. And we'll move this module up, and we'll have it just above where it says Our Team, so now there will be a line break when we update it and if you click update 
and then refresh it here, we'll have this line break on our own site. And this will divide the sections. We're using that as a divider. And that's it for this section. If you have any questions about this or you're stuck anywhere, feel free to reach out to me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks as always.